Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. And for this video, we're going to discuss finite geometric series. So, let's go! So, finite geometric series denoted by S sub M. So, the concept of finite geometric series is almost the same with the concept of finite arithmetic series, except that this time we have a geometric sequence. So, by definition, a finite geometric series is the sum of terms of a finite geometric sequence. So, let's say you have 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So, this is an example of finite geometric sequence. If you add the terms of this finite geometric sequence, so let's say you have 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 and plus 64, then you have now here a finite geometric series. How do we solve for a finite geometric series? So let's say you want to add 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 and plus 64. So, for the finite geometric series, we can use two different formulae. So, we can have S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R is to n all over 1 minus R, where S sub n is equal to the geometric series, A sub 1 is the first term, R is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. Or, we can also use S sub n is equal to quantity A sub 1 minus A sub n times R over 1 minus r, where s sub n is the geometric series, a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the last term, and r is the common ratio. So we can use any of these formulae, but make sure that your r should not be equal to 1. Okay, so how do we use these formulas? So, let's have the first one. So, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times quantity 1 minus R is to n over 1 minus R. So, the same with the previous lessons that we discussed. So, if you want to solve for this, you have to identify first the variables on your formula. So, the S sub n is our geometric series. So, therefore, this will be unknown since we are looking for our geometric series. A sub 1 is the first term, so you will have 1 for this one. R is the common ratio, so you will have 2. You can obtain it by dividing any consecutive terms. Then n is equal to the number of terms that we are going to add, which for this one, 7. So after obtaining the values of your variables, we are going to replace the variables in our formula. So therefore, we're going to have S sub n will become S sub 7 since we are looking for the sum of 7 terms. A sub 1 will be replaced by 1, R will be replaced by 2, and N will be replaced by 7. So therefore, our equation will become S sub 7 is equal to 1 times quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 7 all over 1 minus 2. So sim simplifying it further, we will have S sub 7 is equal to 1 times 1 minus 128, that is the 2 raised to 7, all over negative 1, which is the answer to 1 minus 2. Then we will now have S sub 7 is equal to 1 times negative 127, all over negative 1. So, multiply 1 times negative 127, that will give you S sub 7 is equal to negative 127 over negative 1, which when you simplify will give you 127. So the sum of the terms here is 127. So let's try to solve it using the other formula. So the same with the previous one, we have to identify first our variables. So we have S sub n is equal to unknown since we are looking for the geometric series. A sub 1 is 1. A sub n is equal to 64 and R is equal to 2 which you can obtain by dividing any consecutive terms. So, we replace the variables with the values that we obtain. We will have S sub 7 is equal to 1, which is the A sub 1, minus 64, which is A sub n, times R, which is 2, all over 1 minus 2. Then, we will have S sub 7 is equal to 1 minus 128 over negative 1. 
So, S sub 7 is equal to negative 1 R 27 over negative 1. When you simplify, you will have S sub 7 is equal to 127. So, notice that we have the same answer whether we use the first formula or the second formula. So, you can use both formulas find the geometric series. But, notice that they have different variables on the formula. So, therefore, you have to identify first which formula you're going to use if you want to solve for the geometric series depending on the given on your geometric series. So let's have an example. So let's say you want to find the sum of the following. So 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus and so on up to the 10th term. Okay. So to identify which formula you're going to use, you have to identify first the variables on the formula. So let's have S sub n. So since we're looking for the geometric series, S sub n is unknown. So let's have the A sub 1. So A sub 1 is 3 R is the common ratio which you can obtain by dividing any consecutive terms. So for this one, R is 2. So N is the number of terms that we're going to add. So how many terms are we going to add? According to the problem, you're going to add up to 10 terms. So N is equal to 10. A sub N is the last term. So since we do not know the last term on this problem, the A sub N is unknown. So therefore, it's question mark. So obviously, between the two, we're going to use... The S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R because we have here complete set of variables that we're going to use to solve for the S sub n. Unlike on the other one, we are missing the A sub n. So if you want to use the other formula, you have to solve for the A sub n first, which is the 10th term of the given geometric sequence. So since we're going to use for the first formula, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. We're going to replace the variables of this one with the values that we obtained. So we're going to have S sub 10 is equal to 3, which is the A sub 1, times negative 1 minus 2 raised to 10, which is our R and N respectively, over 1 minus 2. So, simplifying it further, we will have S sub 10 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 2 raised to 10 is 1024 over negative 1, which is 1 minus 2. So then we will have S sub 10 is equal to 3 times negative 1023 all over negative 1. Simplifying it further, we will have S sub 10 is equal to negative 3069 over negative 1. Then simplify this one, we will have S sub 10 is equal to 3069. So therefore, the sum of 3 plus 6 plus 12 and so on up to the 10th term is 3069. Okay, so let's have another example. Find the sum of the following. 1 plus negative 4 plus 18 plus and so on plus negative 1000. 24. So again, before you can decide which formula you're going to use, identify first the variables on your formula. So S sub n is unknown, so they are both question mark. A sub 1 is 1, so we will have here 1. R is the common ratio, which is for this one, negative 4. So notice that your signs are alternating, positive, negative, positive, negative. Then n is the number of terms that we're going to add. So for this, we do not know how many terms are we going to add. But we have here our last term, which is negative 1024. So therefore, it is advisable to use the second formula, which is S sub n is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub n times R all over 1 minus R. So if you want to solve the first formula, you have to identify the position of negative 1024 or the number of terms that you are going to add. So now let's use the second formula. We replace the variables on this formula with the values that we obtain. S sub n will become S sub n. Since we do not know the n, we do not know how many terms we are adding on this uh, geometric series. We just simply leave it as S sub n. So we will have 1 minus negative 1024 times negative 4 all over 1 minus negative. A sub 1 will be replaced by 1. A sub n will be replaced by negative 1024. R will be replaced by negative 4. So solving for this, we will have S sub n is equal to 1 minus negative 1024 times negative 4 is positive 4096. All over 1 minus negative 4 is 5. Change the sign of subtrahem, proceed to addition. 
So, now we will now have S sub n is equal to negative 4,095 all over 5. So, dividing this will give you S sub n is equal to negative 819. So, therefore, the sum of 1 plus negative 4 plus 8 plus and so on up to negative 1,024 is negative 819. Okay, so let's have another one. So, find the sum of the following. 128 plus 64 plus 32 and so on up to the 6th term. First, you decide which formula you're going to use. So, identify the variables on your formulas. Then, you decide which one are you going to use to solve for your geometric series. So, first, let's have S sub n. So, that's unknown because we are looking for the geometric series. A sub 1 is 128. R is the common ratio. So, notice that the terms on this geometric sequence are descending. So, therefore, your common ratio is a proper fraction. And for this one, that is 1 half. Then, n is the number of terms that we're going to add. So, we have here on our problem, which is 6. Then, A sub n is the last term. So, obviously, we do not have the last term. So, therefore, this is unknown. So, among the two, we're going to use the first one because we have here a complete set of our variables. So, so we can now use these values to replace the variables on our formula. So, that will give us a sub 6 equal to 128, that's the A sub 1, times 1 minus 1 half, that's the R, raised to 6, which is our N all over 1 minus 1 half. So, simplifying it further, we will have S sub 6 is equal to 128 times 1 minus 1 over 64 all over 1 half. So, how do we subtract 1 minus 1 over 64? So, 1 minus 1 over 64. So, all you have to do is to change this to similar fraction. So, therefore, we're going to rename 1 as 64 over 64. So, 64 over 64 is equal to 1. At the same time, it is in the fraction form with the same denominator as 1 over 64. So, we subtract the numerators. That will give us 63. We copy the common denominator, which is 64. That's why we have 63 over 64. So, therefore, our equation will become S sub 6 is equal to 128 times 63 over 64 all over 1 half. We're going to multiply 128 times 63 over 64. So, we can now actually use cross cancellation. So, we cancel 128 and 64. So, since both are divisible by 64, we divide both by 64. So, 128 divided by 64 is 2. 64 divided by 64 is 1. So, therefore, we will have a sub 6 is equal to 126, which is 2 times 63, all over 1 half. To solve for this one, let's continue it on the right side. So, we will have S sub 6 is equal to 126 divided by 1 half. So, since it's easier to divide fraction this way. So, what we're going to do is to get the reciprocal of your divisor. That's why instead of 1 half, we will now have 126 times 2 over 1. And notice that you're going to replace the division to multiplication symbol. So, you do that when you divide fraction. You, you get the reciprocal of the divisor, then proceed to multiplication. So, you multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, therefore, we will have S sub 6 is equal to 252. So, if you add 128 plus 64 plus 32 and so on up to the 6th term, the answer is 252. So, okay. So, that's it. Thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.